the slab is about four inches thick, and so I cut a piece of pe this one four inch wide PVC, I cut it to six inches length, because it's about two inches that will go into there. So I'll glue this into here, and then it will go into the slab. And this is probably the only piece I'm gonna glue in the whole system, just because it will allow me to take it apart later if I have to. But if I notice that air is leaking and radon's still high, I can glue it if I need to. But, um, so I'm just gonna glue these two pipes together and I'll show you where I'm gonna put it down in the basement where I dug the hole. Take a look inside the, the hole we uh, dug out here and see how much we were able to get out here. This is the little adapter I made where I glued the coupling onto just a six inch piece because the concrete's about four inches thick plus two inches of the goes inside the coupling there. And we're going to see if this fits in there in the hole that we drilled in the concrete. And not super good yet. I might have to, I could probably hammer it in place. Yeah, there we go. So that way that coupling, we can hammer all the way down and then we put some caulk in right there so it's basically glued in place. And then the benefit of that is it, um, then we just put the other pipe on top of that and that way the pipe won't sink down farther than it should um, so it doesn't block the airflow. And this is the pipe that will go in there like that. And then we'll we'll put some little foam and caulk right there so it's airtight so that as the fan sucks it doesn't suck air from inside to there it will create a better suction underneath the slab of concrete and go up into the attic. So we got this backer rod we're gonna place around the outside edge between the concrete and the PVC pipe. I'm gonna put some of it there and then I'm gonna push the pipe down and all the way. And you use a flathead screwdriver to kind of push that into place. Just gotta big flathead screwdriver you can use to push that in. Got the back of the rod all around there. Now I just need to get some caulk and caulk around that, and then it will have a nice transition for the pipe to go into there.